What do you get when you mix this with this? We'll be right back. You're probably wondering what the heck this thing is. This is the Matricom Q3. It is a Android device that operates on Nougat. And you can get it with the optional gaming controller. I recommend the Re. This is a little portable keyboard. I haven't reviewed this yet. This is really, really cute. 2.4 gigahertz keyboard, which works perfect with the Matricom Q3. However, every game that I downloaded that had the game controller icon on the game did not work. There was only maybe a handful of games that actually worked with the controller. Not really quite sure why it wasn't a complete backward compatible connection, but regardless of what I did, not, most of the games did not work. And it works within the GUI, the Matricom Q3 GUI, perfectly fine. It just, once the game is loaded, your SOL, this does not work. Not really quite sure why. So I guess it needs to do some more tweaking. Maybe it's game related. Maybe it's just not, you know, compatible with this 100%. Who knows? However, it does work really well in terms of everything else. Like any other Android device that's out there. Uh, you have Facebook, you have YouTube, Cody. This is great because you can stream movies from it. However, if you can actually stream movies from your NAS. So if you have a network attached storage device on your network, that's kind of redundant there. But if you have one, <laughs> uh, you can actually stream movies from it. So I already have movies already um, on this. So I can just click on movies here. I, and if you want to do iRobot. So this is nice. It actually shows how long it is, what the, how many channels it is, the audio format and the resolution. So it's 480 standard definition. And if it's 720p, it'll say 720p. Or if it's 1080p, it'll say 1080p on it. So it also reads SD cards as well. It also does radio. But you need to have uh, the PVR set up. So you just add the links and all your stuff will come up. If, if you have playlists, video, all kind of, this is great. This is the same stuff, what we just watched. Just going to videos and it shows all the locations of it, which is great. You can create your own playlists. Cody is a this, this is a great feature. There, are, this box is technically unlimited because you can install anything you want to this device. However, when streaming 1080p content while hardwired didn't play properly, it stuttered. It actually stuttered quite a bit. It does not have enough. Us bandwidth. Hopefully, they'll come out with a plus of this device and hopefully have gigabit capability. It's just, if it had gigabit now, it probably would be able to stream 1080p content. It just, it works, but then it starts to stutter and then it comes back and then it stutters again. And it's just not very good at it. Um, so, that's pretty much it. You have options of i mean these are just built-in menus so if you want to go to games and you can search games based on this you have live tv if you wanted to do slang uh as this is for casting if you wanted to cast you can cast right from here too um skip this but you see you need a mouse you need your mouse and keyboard now because you won't be able to unless you have your remote ready to, ready to go but it's easy with the mouse and keyboard so you have to have this readily available so now you could do pretty much anything on this list here. You use a remote control. You select what you want to watch. You need your mouse and keyboard again. Unless, because you need to be able to select down on the bottom. And you can go through all of these channels. It does look cool. You can play some games. So some things will work and some things won't. Uh, it's just that you need to have the remote, you need to have the gaming controller, and you need to have a mouse and keyboard in order to maneuver around this. So you can't just use one controller to do everything. You need to have the remote handy if something freezes. You hit the home button, it goes right back to home. And then you can use your mouse and keyboard, go up here and hit the X and kill, kill the apps. Uh, right now, we are... Um, we are hardwired, as you can see. This is hardwired. When it, this tells you that 
when this is highlighted it's hardwired if i disconnect it it'll switch to wi-fi this tells you that bluetooth is enabled this tells you that you have a usb thumb drive on in it and then you can click on this and, and read your thumb drive information this is the key this is actually kind of neat so if you have i want to show you something this is useful let me use the keyboard go down and this is important because if you're having trouble on your display and you and you have overscan, meaning your words are missing on the left and right side of the television, okay, this is important because you need to go here and screen position, right? So you should be able to see the, the white lines. If you do not, it may look like It won't let me do it. Well, that's what it should be. So if you zoomed out, eventually you'll see the white line. So right now it's actually too zoomed in. So this is what it should be. I had it zoomed out because I had it on the television. So that's where it was. So, so that's where it was staying. So I had it on a 1080p television and I had to set it to like 92 or whatever. So on a regular monitor, computer monitor, it's a little different because it'll actually fit the proper size. So you need to find this. This is very important. Do I like it? Yes. Will I use it? Absolutely. Do I like the game function? Absolutely. I'm hoping over time it's going to get better and better and better. Um, I feel that the gaming controller is easy to hold, easy to use. It's not overly um, complicated. There are some tweaking to, to be done. But overall, it's a great product, and I recommend it. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Creative Labs iRaw. Oh. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,